And we begin with breaking news from the White House. President Trump speaking just minutes ago saying he will sign a bill to end the separation of families at the U.S.-Mexico border. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for Arkansas Today. I'm Aaron Nolan. The Justice Department is currently drafting an executive order that will address the growing border crisis. Officials have been working since early this morning. It's still unclear at this time what this order will look like. We want to keep families together. It's very important. I'll be signing something in a little while that's going to do that. And the people in this room want to do that. And they're working on various pieces of legislation to get it done. But I'll be doing something that's somewhat preemptive, but ultimately will be matched by legislation, I'm sure. The administration is still also pushing for congressional action. Now, in that meeting that you just saw, there were several senators surrounding the president as he made this announcement, including Arkansas's own Tom Cotton, who did have an opportunity to speak. It's, it's very important that we protect our border. We cannot allow a child to be a get-out-of-jail-free card and a get-into-the-U.S.-free ticket. Uh, but at the same time, as you said, as we've all said, we'd like to keep families together, keep them together at the border for the orderly and timely processing of the adult immigration claim. If it's a lawful, legitimate claim, we can admit the family into the country. If not, they'll have to go back to their home country. I'm glad you're looking for a solution for that. I know that we in Congress are working on legislation that will allow our hardworking Border Patrol agents to keep families together at the border while we process their claims in a timely fashion. Again, all this happening just moments ago, Governor Asa Hutchinson here in Arkansas tweeted just in the past couple of minutes saying the separation of families at the border is a concern to every compassionate American. I want Washington to come up with a policy that will actually keep families intact. We've got to enforce the law, but in a way that does not tear families apart. This news comes as the Little Rock Air Force Base is one of a handful of locations being considered to house immigrant children. According to a Pentagon spokesperson, they have completed assessments of Fort Bliss, Goodfellow Air Force Base, and Dias Air Force Base. Now a spokesperson from the Little Rock Air Force Base says they will support any request they receive from the Department of Health and Human Services. This team is scheduled to be in Little Rock at the Air Force Base on Thursday. No word on whether a new policy announcement could change tomorrow's visit.